In this week's video we're looking at OneNote Class Notebook. So to access it, if you come up where it says Office 365, up in the top left corner here, click on the nine boxes and choose Class Notebook. And you'll be presented with this screen here. And then we're going to go through, and in this video we're going to look at creating a class notebook, looking at how we can add and remove students, how we can add and remove teachers, and how we can manage the notebook. So what we're going to do is we're going to click Create Class Notebook. And it's very straightforward, it's going to take you through these steps. So, so I've titled it, I then click next. It shows you how a notebook is made up. So the different elements, so we're just going to go through those. So we've got a collaboration space where both you and students can edit content and work together. You've got a content library where you in essence can publish materials that students can access. So this is where you can put links to resources that you want to look at in class or maybe links to a, an, an online quiz that you want them to carry out. So the teachers can edit that section but the students can only view that content. And then the final bit is you've got a student notebook, a student notebooks even, and that's a private space for each student. So you can edit the content as a teacher and each student can only edit their own content and they can only view their own content as well. So that's a great space for maybe if you want them to create a, a reflective journal, if you're in one of the art subjects, you want them to reflect on what they're doing, or it could be for class notes. It could be for all sorts of different things that you need them to do. It could be that your assignments are all done through, through that function. So they're the three different sections that make up OneNote class notebook. So we're gonna click next. It will then give you the option to add additional teachers. So you can put in additional email addresses or names and add additional teachers. You can add your student names there and that will add them to the group. You can then choose which sections you wish to have. So you can, these are the defaults, handouts, class notes, homework and quizzes. You can deselect them if you don't want them and you can add fresh ones as well. And then click next and that will add them. It will then give you a preview of what it looks like. So you can see this is the teacher's view. We've got a welcome, we've got a collaboration space and a content library. If we go up to the student notebook, we can see what they'll see. So they have those same elements, but within the student section, they'll have handouts, class notes, homework, and a video section there. So there you have it. So that's what the students one looks like. If you're happy with the preview, we click create and it will take a few minutes. So whilst it's creating, we can talk about how you could use this. I've mentioned a few ideas already. I think where the real benefit is, is it gives you a teacher one space to go to look at how your students are progressing. So if you need to make an intervention, you can you you have all the information you need. You can be looking at how they're progressing with assignments. And, and if you need to provide additional support, then you can be doing that promptly and efficiently. The other benefits, as I've said already and alluded to, is it, it provides the students with an opportunity to learn how to collaborate online. And that's one of the really key important skills that they'll need as they progress maybe onto higher education or onto employment, that ability to collaborate in an online space. So lots of positive ways that you can use it. Having created it, you can either open it in the native app if you have that installed on your device, or you can open it on the online version. So we'll open it in the online version. Let's wait for that to open up. Just getting all organized for me. So the first section is the welcome section, and that's providing you with some additional information. It just gives you some, some useful tips and tricks on how to use it. There's some quick 30 second videos on different aspects of it. So really useful resource there. And then you've got your own. Your own collaboration space. And it gives you again information on how to make use of that. So lots of useful information within there for that. If we just very quickly go back, click on the nine boxes and go back to class notebook. Having created one, if you want to edit it or add and remove students, you can just click 
on the add and remove student bit likewise you can add and remove teachers so it'll load up you choose which notebook and then it's very easy to either add a teacher or remove them if we go back to class notebook again and if you want to change some aspect of your notebook if you get choose the night nine boxes click on manage notebooks it brings up this section here and you can edit the sections if you want to add additional sections it gives you a link that you can send out you can set up a parent and guardian link so that parents can see what's happening and you can enable the teacher only section of the group where just as it says just teachers have access so there you have a very quick look at OneNote class notebook i hope you found the video useful if you did Please remember to subscribe to the channel and join me again soon for another EdTech video. Thanks for watching.